it is time to bill search. I sold some equipment from my lawn care company that I didn't need, so I thought, let's go through some hundos, since I never have $100 bills, and see if we find anything worth more than face value, or is it least collectible. We'll start off with a Series 2009 uh, $100 bill. What are we looking for? Good question. We're looking for issues with ink and print and stuff like that. Right off top, so I'm looking right here where it's all folded up. At first I was like, ah, we might have like a misprint, kind of missing ink, but I think it's just damage with that fold right there. Other things I like to look for is like the color changing ink, vial and quill, as well as uh, the word hundred, or well, numbers hundred right here. Uh, our color changing ink, sometimes there's issues with print with that. Nothing in the serial number. Of course, we're looking for fancy serial numbers like uh, patterns and birthday notes and dates in it and kind of things of that like. Those are always collectible. These are the newer hundreds. Uh, I mean, they've been out for, you know, a decade plus at this point. Uh, but this is when they added the security strip for anti-counterfeiting measures and kind of enhanced graphics. Similar to other banknotes, uh, these little conglomerations of 100s actually form an anti-counterfeiting measure called Urion, uh, which is like a little constellation looking thing. It's hard to uh, recreate when you try to copy these things. Uh, you can see up here where this was printed at the Fort Worth facility, like uh, other hundreds. On to the next one, 2017A, so a newer one, only five, six years old, so relatively new. And same dealio, this one's in a lot better condition. This one's like crisp, which is always good. Nice depiction of Independence Hall. We're, we are heading back to DC in the next few weeks. So I'm gonna have tons of footage from DC, the Spy Museum, the Smithsonian. Uh, we're going on the BEP tour uh, to see how money is made. And I'm gonna live stream or at least get video of that. So hopefully you can uh, live vicariously through us, Jess and I, as we go and explore. I want to hit up that uh, Alice, uh, Alice in Wonderland themed uh, cafe we went to. I think I posted pictures of that last time. Eh, nothing in the serial number on this 2017A uh, note. And nothing in print really jumping out. To the back. Same dealio. Eh, what do we got here? A little bit of damage up right here. For a second I was like, hey, some stray ink. Looks like ballpoint pen, unfortunately. Nothing jumping out there. And 2017A series also. This one's also crisp. I mean, hopefully so. The guy said he got most of them from the bank. So that's always nice. He kind of looked at me weird when I was like, hey, I'm going to mark these with a counterfeit pen. <laughs> you know, but we're talking like a couple thousand dollars. I'm not really going to get ripped off. You know, good old Facebook marketplace. Uh, 944, nothing in the serial number. Gosh, I love the uh, depiction here, the Declaration of Independence on the back, kind of showing up in the background, always good looking. Nothing jumping out there. Don't be confused by these little teeth marks. That's from the counter machine at the uh, bank. 2017A series also. Yeah. Crisp, other than a little corner damage, nothing really crazy jumping out. Would be nice to have like a fold over air, right? That'd be worth a lot. Thousand bucks or so. Nice depiction on the back. Little bit of stray ink there. I kind of, I let you guys know when I have hundreds, which is like few and far between. Keep an eye out for this uh, hundred on the back here, because as you can see, sometimes they have little blurring of ink. If it was really dramatic, I'd probably try to hold on to it. And... 2017 A series also, nothing really popping out on this thing. He looks so stern, you know, like he's like semi-happy, but not. Uh, other places is like in the clear parts, kind of the open portions of the depiction around the Independence Hall picture on the back, as well as kind of the fine detail of Independence Hall is always good to keep an eye out for kind of blurring ink and issues where that fine detail is. Nothing in the serial number. Moving right along. This one's actually in order. Maybe the last couple were, now that I'm looking at them. Looks like some were in Haiti. I saw that. You saw that. And a little bit of funky print. You can see it's a little wavy in the serial number, but not dramatic or anything. Just something to keep an eye out for. 
So these last ones were actually sequential. This one's got a really nice security strip that's really showing up well in the camera. You can see how well they print those. Back of the note. Yeah, again, looks like the kind of had a little issue there. I mean, I get it's from the serial number printed on the front, uh, but, you know, the serial number was poking through there. I'd probably hold on to it. I already saw this little guy. Nice star note. I don't think I ever really pull star notes for $100 notes. So I'm really stoked about that. Love me a star note. I also like looking them up with you guys. So I'll do that at the end of the video and see if this one's uh, more rare than other star notes, how many of them were printed, and kind of some more info so I can show you how to look up just any star note and get some more info on it and kind of start to put a value on what you could resell your star note for. So definitely if you're watching this on like TikTok or Facebook, watch the full video so you can go to the end of the video. You can just skip it so I'm not boring you again. <laughs> and uh, go to the end of the video where I'll show you where to look star notes up, how to look them up, and all that good stuff. Uh, but in this case, if you're watching this video on YouTube, then you can hop to the end of the video or watch the whole thing if you really are enjoying it, hopefully so, and we'll look it up and I will show you some info on star notes. Really like pulling a good star note. So this one's got a little damage to it, but not bad. I'm gonna set that aside. Let's flop this one around. Been cool to have a date note there with the 2001 on the end. Very collectible for date notes if it was like May 3rd, 2001 on this 2013 series $100 note. Also out of Fort Worth like any other one. And it's actually not bad condition being a little bit older. Probably hear my coffee maker going. It's early in the morning here. Hey, what do we got here? Little counter stamp. Little teeny tiny counter stamp. Look at that. That is interesting. Love me some stamp notes. I wish I would have been able to tell what this is. It almost looks like a little UFO, but, or a mushroom. We're going to go with a mushroom, little shroom note. I like it. Little mushroom stamped $100 note. Look at that. Gotta love it. Nothing really collectible jumping out, though. Last few. So hopefully I didn't bore you to death on Friday. You're to the weekend, though, so worst case, you're like, that was horribly boring. Let me just get on with my weekend. Nothing jumping out on the front of that one. Little tick mark from a pen or something here. Eh, a little repetition of fives and eleven, or in eleven. That was elevens. That doesn't even make sense. Ones in the middle. Yeah, but nothing uh, collectible enough. What do we got going on with this signature? A little blob of ink. I can feel it raised though, so it's probably like marker or something. And nothing jumping out on the back. Last but not least, now we get to the nice beat up ones you guys know that I love. And it's a date note now that I'm looking at it. July 25th, 1763. So it's uh, actually approaching the signing of the Declaration of Independence, which was July 4th, 1776. So a few years previous, lots of stuff going on in history at that point. So I'll look up this date see if anything really crazy or kooky happened, and I'll put that in the comments in the description box, but what a great birthday slash date note to find on a $100 bill, even with it being all jacked up. I love it. What's the back look like? Yeah, all marked up with pen and all sorts of junk, but I love me a little date note. It's not the biggest find. I actually am more pleased with this star note find. So like I said, Stick to the end of the video. We'll look up the star note and see if there's anything interesting about it. Um, but otherwise, hop over to my TikTok, Instagram, my Facebook, all the social medias and whatnot. Make sure you follow me on those. And I'm going to be making some uh, really exclusive videos for members only, all six or seven of you so far. Uh, I really appreciate your support. And I'll be making some videos that are exclusive to you guys as well as a bunch of price videos. So like online price guide stuff for quarters and pennies and some error notes and error coins. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for coming to the bill search and let's look up this star note and see what the dealio is with it.